What's good, guys? It's your man, Chef from Off of Dome, back in for another video. And it's a quick one today. Just talk about Sonic the Hedgehog, the release that's going to be happening in 2020 in February. $125 million budget. Paramount revealed they've spent $35 million fixing it. But they're going to get all their money back. And to be honest, it's good they finally listen to fans because other corporations don't have to listen to fans. Now, you may be saying, yes, they do. Well, a lot of times they don't because a lot of people complain about the way Lion King looked. It still made a billion. Aladdin made a billion. Those are extreme examples because they have established fan base and they are classics. I get it. You also have a Terminator movie. That's another example. People hated the designs of the Terminators. They hated Shia LaBeouf's acting. They hated the storyline. They hated Michael Bay in general, but it made a billion dollars. A lot of people don't like the current DC movies. They said Aquaman sucked. made a billion dollars. So, needs to say, a corporation really doesn't have to change anything because the majority of the public... We're still going to watch it. They hate watching either other people that don't know the story will still watch it. But I think in Sonic's case is this. You know that Sonic the Hedgehog doesn't have much media exposure. What I mean by that is the three or four television series it's had, it hasn't really been popular in the U.S. in a while. This generation of kids, my generation, didn't really grow up on Sonic watching on TV. We know it from the video game. So if you don't get gamers to go to the theater, who else is going to be interested in the movie? The people online that complain about the design were the ones who play the games and knew the games when they grew up. The franchise hasn't been established in television form like it has been for Pikachu and the other people that they've made movies about this year. And that's one reason why Paramount knew they had to do something. Other thing is that when you talk about reach globally, Sonic is well-known characters, just like Mario and Pikachu, but he's not as high as them. If you know what I mean, like, he's a little bit below them. He's known for making Sega relevant. He's known for Sonic 06, which is the worst video game of all time to some people. He's known for heroes, and he's known for generations. I get it. But do you think people will spend almost a billion dollars for Sonic? No. But they will. I think the movie will get to around $350 million, maybe 400 like Detective Pikachu, maybe a little bit less. Or it might do a little bit more now that fans want to support it. But imagine if they didn't change the design. I could see the movie. I could see it bombing. I could see the movie only make a hundred eighty or one hundred twenty-five million dollar budget plus promotion. I see the movie flopping. So I'm glad Paramount was smart enough to know that hey, this movie may not be as successful as a lot of other releases this year, but it could still do well if we release it next year and change the design, and we could hopefully either break even or make a couple hundred million extra. So that's all I gotta say. Let me know what you think on why they changed it. Do you think that it's a good idea they changed it? Do you think that they're, you know, do you think they did it for ulterior motives? Either way, you still don't get a good product, so you shouldn't be bothered. But that's all I got to say. Let me know if you plan to watch the movie in February when it comes out. It's your man, Chef Moffat. Don't make a new content for you every day. I'm out. Peace.